Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will continue our discussion about the exponential function. And today, our target is on how to graph exponential functions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So I have here two different examples and nilagay ko na yung ating Cartesian plane sa dalawang examples para hindi masyadong mahaba yung videos natin. Now, uh, we are given here the problem or the direction sketch the graph of the following exponential functions wherein the first function that we have here is f of x is equal to raised to x and the other is f of x is equal to 2x plus is equal to 2 raised to x plus 4. Kung hapansin nyo, um, pinagkaliba lang ng dalawang functions na binigay ko ay meron tong plus 4, ito wala. And then, gusto kong makita nyo kasi na yung pagbabago sa mismong graph, when we graph 2x squared and uh, 2 raised to x and 2 raised to x plus 4. So, let's try. In number 1, we are given f of x is equal to 2 raised to x. Ang gagawin natin dito guys, ay gagamit tayo ng table of values. Meaning, uh, we will assign, again, eh, we will assign any value of x. So, bakit po any value of x? Remember, guys, when we talk about the domain or the set of all x values for any exponential function, it is the set of all real numbers. Ibig sabihin, kahit ang value ng mismong x na gamitin natin, pwede. But in our tutorial, I'll be using these numbers. I will start with negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. I'll be using these numbers. Same with item number 2. I'll be using negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And again, any value of x is possible for the x values. Now, sir, how are we going to do that? Show me guys, uh, we will evaluate this function given the value of x so that we can find the value of y. Kasi pag meron ka ng value ng y, it will give you a point or the coordinates of a point para tuloy-tuloy natin mag-graph yung ating exponential function. Now let's start with this. Uh, let us use negative 3. So I'll be using this space para sa ating solution. If I have f of x is equal to 2 raised to x and the value of x is negative 3, this will become negative 3, okay? And substituting negative 3, this is 2 raised to negative 3. So, important rin guys na you know how to evaluate exponential function. At ilalagay natin siya dito at yung link sa description box para matuto kayo kung how to evaluate exponential function. Now, evaluating this or simplifying this, since the exponent is negative, this will become 1 over 2 raised to 3. Kailangan sa natin gawin positive exponent. And simpli simplifying 2, 2 raised to 3, this will give us 8. That's why your f of negative 3 is equal to 1 over 8. This is the first value of, f of y. If your x is negative 3, so you have 1 over 8. Now let's continue. Sir, what if your x is negative 2? So we will substitute. We have f of negative 2 is equal to 2 raised to negative 2. Medyo matrabaho lang guys, pero I hope na tiyagayin nyo ka para masolve nyo ito. So continue natin ito. Negative exponent, gawin natin positive. It will become 1 over 2 raised to 2. And this will be simplified as 1 over 4. So, ang second value natin ng y is 1 over 4. Next, let's move on with negative 1. We have here f of negative 1 is equal to 2 raised to negative 1. Remember, this is a negative exponent. To make it positive, ilipat na natin sa denominator. We have 1 over 2 raised to 1 or simply 1 half. Yan ang mean, guys. Now, if your x is negative 1, your y is 1 half. Okay. So, let's move on. 
So for number for the second one, if your x is equal to zero, again, if your x is equal to zero, what you will do is that you have f of zero is equal to two raised to zero. And remember, when you raise a number by the exponent of zero, it will give you the answer of one. So the answer here is equal to one. So if your x is zero, your y is equal to one. Okay. So continue. So what if your x is equal to y? We have f of x, or we need to evaluate f of x, or f of y, that is 2 raised to 1, and that is equal to 2. Madali lang naman siya guys kung paano evaluate. Let's continue. So what if we have f of 2? For f of 2, that is 2 squared, right? Replacing x by 2, that is 4. This is 4. Next, okay, tuloy lang natin. This is 3. We have f of 3 is 2 raised to 3. And as you can see, um, ang ibig sabihin ng 2 raised to 3 natin is 2 times 2 times 2. That is equal to 8. So this is 8. And as you can see, guys, we are done completing the table of values. If Tapos mo evaluate yung ating function given the value of x and you have completed the values of y, you are now ready to graph or to plot the points and draw the graph sa ating partition plane. Now let us start with negative 3, 1 over 8. Yung negative 3, 1 over 8 na natin, ayun yung dito. Negative 3, this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative... 5, negative 6. Your x is negative 3, pero 1 over 8. So, lagyan natin dito. Estimated natin na dito yung point natin. Yan. Dito siya sa... Hindi niya matatouch yung ano, x-axis, ha? Nandito lang siya. And then, followed by negative 2, comma 1 fourth. Yung 1 fourth kasi natin, yung, yung y natin, guys, dito, natin, dito tayo titingin. So, we have negative 2 sa 1 fourth. So, we will try na iangat ng konti dito mismo. Tapat na negative 2, but hindi siya lalagpa sa 1 or sa 1 half. Followed by negative 1, yung x mo, tapos yung y mo is 1 half. So this is negative 1 kung tama yung kalahate. Ayan. Ayan yung third point natin. And as you can see, for the fourth point, we have 0, 1. Your x is 0, dito siya. Tapos yung y mo is 1, dito siya. Okay. Dito natin na kung tingin yung circle. Okay. Next, we have 1, comma, one comma 2. At yung 1 natin, and this is your 2, and this is your second point. Um, uh, fifth point. Okay. Next, we have 2, comma 4. For 2, comma 4, this is 1, and 2, 3, 4. This is 2, tapos hanggang... 4, okay, 4, this is your 4, this is your 2, comma 4, kaya dapat tama na yung pagkakaplot, followed by 3, comma 8, so for 3, ito yung 3 natin, and then your 8 is here, so I would say na dito yung ating point, okay, dito yung ating last point. So, after plotting the points na nagawa natin sa mismong uh, table of values natin, we will sketch the graph. Again, yung graph ng isang um, ito ay hindi niya matatouch yung x-axis. Bakit po? Meron siya itong plus zero. Okay, meron siya dyang plus zero. We're in, ito yung magiging asymptote mo, which is y is equal to zero. So, in other words, yung ating asymptote siya yung ating x-axis where in uh, it, it, will, ano, it will slowly approach the x-axis yung graph ng ating, ng ating, ano, ng ating um, exponential function but it will never reach the point of touching it so paano natin siya gagawin? parang ganito lang siya draw lang ako ng ano lang yun okay Ito na yung mismong graph natin, guys. 
And as you can see, when you were asked to describe your graph, it is continually arising from left to right. Ibig sabihin ito siya. In other words, exponential growth to guys. Because the slope is positive. Okay? And then, as you can see, uh, paunti-unti na touch ng ating graph ng exponential function na 2, f of x is equal to 2x, yung ating asymptote na x-axis, but hindi niya nga ito ma-intersect or madidikitan. So, ito yung mismo yung graph ng ating negative ng label, para short tayo. f of x is equal to 2 raised to x. Okay guys? Clear ba tayo doon? Now, let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, hindi mo natin kailangan pahirapan yung sarili natin. Why? Kasi meron na tayo nito. Okay? Meron na tayo nyan. Sir, paano po gagawin nyo? What I will do, ito, example. Kung wala tayong, kung wala itong plus 4 na to, we have f of x is equal to 2 raised to x plus 4. Kung wala yan, ito yung magiging 1 over 8. Tama? Ito yung magiging 1 over 4. So what I will do, para makuha ko yung value ng y, if I will do this, para na ito lang. Um, we have f of negative 3 is equal to 2 raised to x plus 4. Diba? Ito ay um, 2 raised to negative, negative 3 plus 4. That is 1 over 2 thirds plus 4. And 1 over 8 plus 4. Ang mangyayari, mag a lang tayo ng 4 sa bawat values ng x na meron tayo. Okay? So, I will erase this. Para makuha natin yung masubilis, yung ating f of 3, f of negative 3, is simply 1 over 8 plus 4. Ako ginagawa ko dito, pwede nyo gawin yung pagkuha ng LCD, ha? pero ako kasi, gagawin mo itong fraction. Ang fractional form ng 4 with the denominator of 8 is simply... Um, 1 over 8 plus 32 over 8. Okay? Wapo ba? Minultiply ko lang si 4 by 8 and start to and then copy the denominator. And para ma-check mo, 32 divided by 8 is equal to 4. So this will give us the answer of 33 over 8. Kuha? At yung 33 over 8 natin is the same as um, 4 and 1 over 8. Parang ganyan lang siya. Parang pinag-add nga lang natin, di ba? Pinagsama lang natin. So let me erase this. This is 4 and 1 over 8. Okay? So let's continue. So kung yan na mismo yun, ibig sabihin kung meron tayong f of negative 2, which is 1 fourth, di ba? Plus 4, parang na rin siya, nalabas din ito is 4 and 1 over 4. So meron tayong 4 and 1 over 4. Sir, what if decimal po ang nakuha namin? Pwede rin naman, para mas madali din makuha guys. Okay lang naman yan. Okay? So continue natin to. Ito naman, since yun ay 1 half, that is 4 and 1 half, di ba? Tapos, dito naman sa, if your f of x is equal to 0, um, since 1 to, gawin na natin plus 4, that will give us 5. Tapos, ito ay 2, magiging 6. Try natin ha, if your f of 1 is, f of x is 0, is 1. f of 1 is equal to 2 raised to 1 plus 4. So, makuha natin yung 2 plus 4, that will give us the answer of 6. Parehas lang eh. Para hindi tayo masyado mahaba. Next, if your x is equal to 2, since 4 yun, plus 4 tayo, this is 8. And for f of x, which is f of 3, since this is 8, plus 4, that is 12. Now, as you can see guys, uh, we have completed the table of values. Now, we are ready to graph. Okay? So ngayon, sir, paano po yan? Uh, ano pong pinagkaiba nito? Ito kasi yung pinagkaiba nito, since ito, Meron dito plus 0, the asymptote is equal to 0. Dito naman, meron siyang asymptote na plus 4. That's why, ito yung ating asymptote. Drawing mo lang ha.
Itong asymptote natin, hindi ito ma-reach or matatouch ng mismong graph ng ating exponential function nito. Okay, try natin. Let's start with this. Negative 3, 1, 4. Nandito lang siya. So, negative 3, 1. Uh, comma 1 over 8 pala. 1 over 8. This is the first point. Okay? Next, negative 2, 4, 1 4. So, tataas natin ng konti lang. Next, negative 1, 4, 1 half. Tataas pa rin natin ng konti. Dito yan. Tama siya itong malayan. Okay. Followed by 0, 5, 0, tapos 5. Ito na siya. Next, we have 1, 6. Ito yung 1. 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 6. This is 6. Ito yung pwesto ng ating fifth point. For 2, 7. For 2, 8. 2, 8. Dito naman siya. And then, 3 comma 12 for 12 for 3 dito siya. Now, when we sketch the graph, ito na mismo yun. Sketch the graph, dapat hindi niya matatouch. Pero, habang tumatagal, umangat siya kapunta sa kanan. Ay, we missed. Okay. Ayun guys, this is the graph of the given exponential function. At kung mapansin nyo, yung trend, parehas lang. Pero nag-shift lang tayo ng 4 units up because we have here plus 4. Kaya ako tas na gawin para ma-observe nyo if the um, asymptote is 0, tapos yung asymptote nito is 4. Um umangat lang siya ng 4 units up. Okay guys? I hope guys na natuto kayo sa video natin. Medyo naging mahaba. It cost us uh, 18 minutes to complete this tutorial. And I hope na natuto kayo sa mismo tutorial na to. By the way guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!